Hello everyone. We wish to demonstrate DocSept document management system in this short session. DocSept is a browser-based full-scale document management system which can be implemented on cloud or also on premise. You don't need any end user installations for using the system. It's a browser-based solution and fully responsive. So you will be able to access the solution using iPads, mobiles, or any other device. I'm using Firefox here. We are compatible to most of the browsers available. I'm logging in into the system. This is the Explorer layout. We tried to replicate the Windows Explorer look and feel to make it more user friendly. Docsept is very easy to use solution and very easy to implement. It typically takes around three to four weeks to go live on this solution. If you notice the Explorer screen, you can configure your own company logo here and users can add their pictures and you will be able to see different folder structures on the left panel based on your access permissions. For example, I'm working for projects. I'll be able to see only that specific projects folder. And if you see on the right screen, you will be able to see the screen is bifurcated in folders, files and mails. If you click on any folder on the left panel, you can see what are the folders inside them, files inside them, and emails inside them. This is the document screen. You'll be able to see the name of the document, the type of the document, who uploaded this document, what is the version of the document, if anybody updates a document, a version is updated automatically. Whenever any, anyone uploads a document, it retains version 1 as default. So you will have a full history of any document being edited by any user across a platform. For example, this, is, this document shows version 7. So I can right click and go and see the history of the document. So to see the full track of the changes made to this document by whichever user who has made it, at which dates they have made it, and you can configure who can download the history of these documents and also restore the old versions of the document. If there are any comments made by users uh, while updating the document, you will be able to see them in the comments section. End users can also add notes, which are small messages against the document for other users to view it quickly on the Explorer screen. You can also view the modified date and the size of the document. Let me quickly show you different options of uploading information in Docsept. You can add individual documents which are available in your laptop or desktop by clicking add document. You can select a file and put your message. If you want to notify other users in the organization, you can do so. So the other users will get a link of the document and they can click the link and come to this platform to view the document. So you are typically not sharing the document as attachment and creating uncontrolled copies of the same document across the organization. The document securely lays in, in the document management system. You can also notify specific roles also. You can, roles are basically groups of users so you can create groups based on departments, 
or type of activity they are handling or based on different processes across your organization. Right now I'm not selecting to notify users. I submit the document. You'll be able to see that here. You also have an option to drag and drop documents. Say example, I drag some documents from my local system and drop them in the box. You can see a green tick mark, which means the documents are uploaded. You can see them the version of one is retained. When I've uploaded the individual document, I put some comment while uploading. You can see them in the comment section. For quick review for the users to see it. Coming back to the functionalities on the solution, all the documents on the platform are fully secured and encrypted and access permissions can be set up for folder based on folders or also on documents. So they are fully configurable. So you can give permissions who can read these documents, who can edit these documents, who can delete and security permissions. Security is the tab which is provided normally to the department managers who can give permissions to other users for that specific folders or files. So based on the access permission, end users can see only the information which you want them to see as, a, as an organization. And when you right click on any document, there is a full menu of, of functionalities from preview to metadata and all other functions. So all these can be configured based on, on your requirement. So you, end users can create different profiles and permit or restrict users to see this menu or functionalities. And you can preview documents by double clicking the document here. Another key functionality in, in the document management system is retrieving of information. Docsept has comprehensive retrieval functionalities. So even though you have millions of documents, you'll be able to retrieve it quickly because you'll be able to search using various search parameters. Docsept has an OCR functionality where you'll be able to search scanned images also. For example, this is a JPEG image. Docsept can search printed text from JPEG, PNG, BMP, TIFF, all scanned image formats, which will not be able to do it in your regular Windows environment. For example, this is a JPEG letter with the name JM reference letter five. I don't remember the file name, but I remember some word inside it. For example, I remember the reference number, 111-2017. So I go to Google search. I enter the reference number, which I remember, and just press enter. So Docsec quickly brings that scanned images, which has the text available in the document. So I can preview the document here in the search screen and I can also view the extracted text from this document. You also have various search functionalities available in the search screen. You'll be able to search using a specific file folder or date range or by the title name or by the content of the document or by the notes assigned to the document adjacent to them, or by specific date range, between what dates the document or a folder was uploaded or created, what were the file types, the metadata, and different functionalities. So with all these functionalities of search, you'll be able to retrieve information very quickly. Greetings. In this session, we will cover topics such as workflows, metadata, and folder creation along with alerts and notifications.
Your organization can go paperless by introducing document review and approval systems for different processes across your organization in DocSet. If you are able to see a tick mark against these documents, you can click them to see the status of this a specific document, which is sent through a specific workflow for digital review and approval of a document. You can avoid printing documents and moving the documents to desks of specific users to approve, it, approve them and then again sign, sign them and scan them back into the system. So the whole process can be digitized and the turnaround time for completion of the process can be reduced drastically. There are two types of workflows in DocSet. First one being the workflow which can be started by the end users on the go by right clicking and selecting document review. The end user can select how many level of approvals and review will be there on the specific document. So by default, it's, it says five levels. So I select example two level. So you can select who will be the person starting this review and who will the person who will be the specific user who will be approving the document. You would, the end user would require to name the tasks and send it for the approval. There is also an option to select the destination folder so that after the approval, the document will be moved into a specific folder. There are also brief options for selecting to notify the users. Can they have an ability to reject? Can they have an ability to edit the document? All these in this specific screen. And the other user will be able to see the documents in that dashboard, which I'll be showing you across. This is my dashboard and I have these documents for review and approval. So I can click and add my comments, view the document from the dashboard, approve it or reject it based on my permission. And the status of the workflow can be seen by clicking the tick mark against the document. This document level one is rejected and, the, and level two is closed basically. So you can see some other documents. It is a level three workflow. It is waiting for person one to, to review and submit it to the next level. The other type of workflows where you can create more complex workflows like these. These are predefined workflows where the document flows through a predefined set of users. So the end user does not get to choose whom he has to send this. So if he has to send a, the document for example, a procurement request, he will just select the procurement request workflow and it automatically flows through specific set of people. Like if it goes to the purchase manager, if he approves it, where it should go, if he rejects it, where it should go. So you can define these workflows. These can be started by clicking a document and selecting start workflow. End users will be able to select from a list of workflows based on the processes of the organization. Docsept has a functionality called auto folder structure. This is predominantly required for any specific process where a set of documents mandatory documents needs to be maintained for a specific process. For example, I am creating a client folder here. And every new client requires to be maintained for a specific set of documents. 
So I right click on the folder and select create folder structure. So I will have a predefined folder structure of what all documents I need to maintain for a client. So this can be used for audits. It can be used for uh, any specific process across the organization for the, any department. So I've selected a new client on board. So what Docset does is it creates a template of folder structures of mandatory documents required for a new client. And it also shows what are the type of documents needs to be up uploaded to specific folders. These work as guidelines to end users who wish to upload specific documents here. This ensures there is uniformity in folder structures across the organization. And end users can also set up alerts. For example, there is a trade license of a specific client which needs an expiry alert. So you can set up a deadline when this document is coming for renewal and how many days before you want a notification to be sent to you. These can be used for contracts or any documents which requires attention and updation of the document at a predefined interval. So it can be one time and it also can be recurring. For example, you have a contract which comes for renewal every three months. So I select the start date as today and it shows the renewal date and how many days before you will be getting a notification. You can also put other end users whom you wish to get notified. There are also options for snoozing the alert if it comes and you can also select the end date if you want this recurring to be closed at say example for after a year. So you can select those preferences. So end users can also generate reports of what are documents coming for renewal. For example, I want to check what are documents are coming for attention in the next 20 days. So you can select specific folder structures like I want to select new client onboard folder structure. I want to select trade license. So I want to get a report for next 90 days for all the clients trade licenses. So I've received uh, this client's trade license, which is coming for renewal in next 32 days. So I can export to PDF and Excel and use these reports for my meetings or for following up with the customers. This functionality can be used for various departments across the organization and various processes across the organization. Docset has a comprehensive metadata functionality. Metadata is basically a set of indexing values or a set of keywords assigned to a specific document or a folder for quick retrieval. For example, I want to upload a document here. Whenever I upload, I can get this screen. So it can be a drop down or it can be a text field. So these inputs can be used for searching this information in the, in the future. So you can also have different uh, type of screens. There is no limit how long you want the metadata form to be available. So you have date fields, text fields, drop downs or uh, text box, all those options. So it's fully configurable by you. And we will also assist you in configuring few metadata in the implementation process. This metadata screen is will be available Okay, we have a mandatory field to be selected in some of the metadata.
you'll be able to see the metadata search screen in the search functionality also when you select metadata you can get all the groups basically so you can search using all any of these parameters from the search screen Docsept also offers a complete audit log for admin users to track every functionality for any specific users between a date range. So there's a complete audit trail available for admin users from login to logout, including how many documents they have uploaded, they have renamed some folders, files, scanned some documents, sent some documents as an attachment to somebody. So it's a comp comprehensive audit trail available. 